Hey everyone, this is Tiamo and I'm in Torino, Italy with a very special guest today, my dad, or as they say here in Italy, my papa. And I'm so excited to be interviewing him today uh, because he's actually been doing music as a full-time career since he was 23 years old. Now he's 75, so he's been doing it for 52 years. And I felt like he would have some incredible insight and knowledge to share with you today. So my dad is a singer-songwriter. He's also a guitarist, an opera singer, and he's an international singer as well as he sings in 16 different foreign languages. So uh, it's so wonderful having you here with us, Papa. Oh, it's a pleasure. Isn't it is fun, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> yes. I mean, we are together. We're together <laughs> doing an interview in wow, Italy. Wow, it doesn't get any better than yeah, that. That's right. <laughs> so the first question that I have for yeah. you is, um, for all the music artists out there who have limiting beliefs around uh, doing their music, getting it out into the world, or doing it as a career, but they feel like either they're too old or they feel like it's too late, I feel like you're such a wonderful example for them because you're 75 years old mm -hmm. and you're doing your music full time right now professionally. Um, you just came back from a wonderful gig over the summer and you're out there doing it. So I feel like people don't have an excuse anymore, right? Whether they feel like they're too old or whatever it is. So my question for you is, you know, what do you feel are your, your biggest keys to success to not only being able to do music as a lifetime career, but also sustaining it and, and having success doing it? Uh, let's go from the beginning. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Let's put the whole things together. And you have to know if you are committed, if you, if you know how to take, you know, your responsibility to prepare every day. You have to build up something like the ants. You know, you build up something every day, and uh, and beside the, the determination uh, to be ready to explore also, and you must love the audience. Yes. Because we are talking as a as a performer, you have an audience in front of you, right? So you must love your audience. So we have these in three ingredients for now. Yeah, very important ingredients. Yes. Yes. Right. And I would say, because that's something that we talk about a lot, is how important it is to truly connect with your audience, to engage with them, um, rather than just being a performer and just, you know, being in your craft is wonderful, but then engaging with your audience and feeling like you have a relationship with them and a dialogue um, and how you make them feel in the process is so important. I know growing yeah. up, I've watched you do that. You're a master at connecting with the audience. So what are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, you just uh, feed me well on this question because it is exactly what I, I love to do is to communicate with my audience. See, let's say, let's say the psychological effect. This is very important, psychological. So, uh, you want to be in tune, you must know not only what you want to do, to do but what the other want to hear. As a matter of fact, that is even more important. Is a dialogue. So it is not a monologue. It's not you giving music. No! You have to prepare the field of having the reaction from them. And yes. then it comes really amusing, exciting. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah and, and something that I think you've done so well is you've been able to differentiate yourself from other artists. And I know before, you know, when you're performing in other countries and things like that, but when, when you eventually you came to the United States, yeah. you saw that there was something that a lot of people were doing, which at that time was, was rock. <laughs> and instead of going down the rock path, uh, you decided to take the international path of exposing yeah. people to interma international music in really other countries and languages. And that's something that made you stand out and, and become more unique. And I think that in that way you attracted a lot more opportunities, would you say? Eh, hey, Tiamo, I, I certainly, it seems like you know well my biography. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, certainly. When I was in Europe, I mean when I started, I was obviously I was in Europe, and I was performing all the American material and so on. Yes. When I went to America, you have to think, hey, doing, let's say, rock and all the other material, you know, American, they have plenty of good entertainers, artists. So, 
I'm going to be different. I'm going to give them the continental approach, see? Yes. Like say Italian, French, Spanish, and blah, 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 see? Right. And so that is, because if you, if you do what everybody else do, then your possibility of making it, it becomes smaller. If you do something different, aha, then you have good chances. Absolutely. And, and I've watched you evolve and do it that way. And I think that's one of the reasons why you've been so successful, apart from your skill and your confidence. But um, as we wrap things up and summarize a little bit, my mm -hmm. last question for you today is what would your, your final takeaway, what would be the final thing that you want to share with everyone who, you know, for music artists who are out there who dream of doing this um, full time as a career and, and want to do it and be passionate about it yet be successful and make money at it. What would be your final piece of advice? Well, I think there are a few passages that you absolutely have to observe. Let's say you have uh, <clears throat> to know yourself, you have to be sincere with yourself and you have to be sincere with the others. See, that is one. Okay. You have to be determined. You, you have to fix to establish a goal yes. and don't go zigzagging you got to go to that goal see to dream the impossible Possible dream <laughs> which is not impossible <laughs> no. if you know how to do it that's right <laughs> and you know very well because you're doing extremely Thank well you, so Papa. congratulations <laughs> <laughs> so that it is the other one exactly the, the determination see uh, you have to enjoy what you're doing if you see that you are not enjoying, then you are in the wrong place. <laughs> you know, you yes. got to enjoy it. Yes, you have to love the other people, and the people they sense it. That they are like dogs, hunt the dogs. You know, they know it. They sense it. So if you enjoy yourself, if you enjoy them. They will enjoy you, and this is a dialogue. Yeah, and I can say, uh, growing up as a little kid and seeing my my dad perform, that's something that I always admired about him. Is just you know, how passionate he was, how present he was, and how much he connected with the audience. And I, I could always see you overflowing with confidence. And I think that's what made you a magnet for opportunities and, and for agents and, and managers yeah, who want to help right. you throughout your career. You have to be confident. Yeah. If you doubt yourself, forget it. It's like a, a salesperson, you know, if he sells and he said, wow, this is not that good. Hey, hey, it has to be great. Yes. Yeah. So... Uh, uh, that's something I've always loved about you and and we're gonna wrap things up here and I just want to thank you for taking uh, Some time today along the river to you just share your you views don't with me. The music I mean out there the happiness of being here with yeah. you talking just talking candidly about things I <laughs> Great. love it, right? <laughs> yeah, so from us to you we encourage you to follow your heart your dream like my dad said have a plan have a goal go after it with tenacity and uh, we can't wait to see what kind of results you get. And hopefully we'll share the stage with you someday. Yeah. And for now, arrivederci. Grazie. Ciao. Ciao.